The government should be able to say more than it's strong and stable. And it's wrong to believe the fable that I belong at the negotiating table. And how can I negotiate if I can't face Corbyn in a debate? It's easy to investigate precisely why I won't participate. I want to make sure I can ignore the public concerns about you. Turns, you have to learn there is no proof that I will tell you the truth. I don't know why people vote for me. It's like the more policies I talk about, the more problems you see. And let's not forget if it's me you elect, it means a harmful far-right Brexit. Everything we do as we leave the EU will be not for the many, but for the few. I know whose side I'm on. Ordinary people are easy to dismiss. And yes, the message we're sending them is this. I could go into a lot more detail, explain why this government continues to fail. We've had cuts on an industrial scale, and it's plain. We must not prevail. We cut the spending by more than a fifth, and lives are being put at risk. But I will lie to you and say, we've made life safer in the UK. There are other plans you might have to confront. Think of one man, Jeremy Hunt. And surprise, surprise, yes, we want to privatise the NHS. Have we made the health service better or worse? You can't trust me. Ask the nurse and our new rules for education will underfund schools so they need donations. That is the absurd situation we're facing. That's how right now it's difficult for schools and hospitals. And if we win, it will be impossible. Only trust the Conservatives if you don't rely on public services. And remember that the heart of our agenda, we're making life harder for people with dementia. It doesn't have to be this way. And these things don't have to stay the same. You can use your vote to say, not in my name. I don't know why people vote for me. It's like the more policies I talk about, the more problems you see. I don't know why people vote for me. It's like the more policies I talk about, the more problems you see.